Hello there. This is the Sounds American channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the dark L, as in the word call. You can also hear this sound in words like tool, gold, full, or fault. We'll be using a special phonetic symbol, ol, for this sound. Let's get back to our examples. Now, listen to these words pronounced with a regular L and compare. Tool, gold, full, fault. Can you hear any difference? Let's do it again. Tool, gold, full, fault. Can you hear any difference now? We can either. And this is totally fine. The dark L and the regular L sound almost the same. The dark L is only a variation of the ol sound and not a distinct consonant. And to be honest, that's all that most people need to know about the dark L. But if you don't have more important things to do, keep watching. And you know what? We actually won't be using the dark L symbol. It's never used in dictionaries, and we like to keep things simple. Before we get into the dark L discussion, let's recall how to make the regular L sound. Here you go. The ol is pronounced with the tip of your tongue touching the alveolar ridge behind your upper front teeth. The back of your tongue is lowered. The ol is made with air passing through the mouth around the sides of the tongue, like a liquid. Ol. By the way, this is why it's called a liquid consonant. Okay, now let's try to pronounce the ol in a slightly different way. This time, keep the tip of your tongue a little lower, so it doesn't touch the alveolar ridge. The back of your tongue, on the contrary, should be a little higher. Let's try saying it. All. 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 Have you got it? Congratulations! You've just nailed the dark L sound. Hold on. We're not done yet. Here's the tricky part. There's no strict distinction between the regular L and the dark L in American English. Instead, there are many degrees of darkness. And we do love how this sounds. The darkness of the L depends on its position in a word and is adjusted by the tip and the back of your tongue. The lower the tip of your tongue, the darker the L you get. Now, the question is, when should you and shouldn't you make your L dark? This is actually pretty simple. Always check the sound before the L. If it's one of the back vowel sounds, like in the words tool, full, gold, and fault, pronounce the darkest ol possible. The thing is, when you make the back vowel, your tongue is already pulled back, so it's easier to make the dark l. Tool, fool, gold, fault. If it's one of the central or front vowels, like in the words deal, Male, tail, or final, pronounce the ol that's slightly darker than the regular one. It's okay to gently touch your alveolar ridge. Deal, male, tail, final. Now, 
What happens when there's a consonant before the L, or the L is at the beginning of a word or a syllable? Correct. In that case, pronounce your regular L sound. Play, clean, light, or look. At this point, you may wonder what's going on in the red area. This is to show you one of the most typical mistakes that people make when pronouncing the L sound. There is the L sound, also known as the soft L, which exists in several languages but doesn't exist in American English. The soft L is pronounced with the tip of your tongue curled back to your palate. And this is not how you make any of the American L sounds. Compare. Tool. Tool. Full. Full. Remember, if you pronounce the soft L instead of the L sound, it'll seriously affect your American accent. Bottom line. It's okay to always pronounce only the regular L when speaking English. You'll still sound pretty much like an American. However, you should avoid using the soft L sound, since it'll make your foreign accent stand out. And this gradually leads us to practice. Yes, it's high time to do some exercises. This is the only way to improve your American accent. This is how it works. You'll see a word on the screen and hear its pronunciation. Like this. Bold. You'll have a few seconds to pronounce the word. Do your best to practice as many words as possible. We'll start with the L sound found after the back vowels. Let's do it. Bold. All. Sold. Gold. Fold. Ball. Pull. Vault. Hold. Goal. Bull. Salt. Ball. Cool. Pool. Let's stop here for a second and take a short break. Next, we'll practice words in which the ol occurs after the central and front vowel sounds. Let's continue. Salad. Health. Adult. Bill. Color. Fail. College. Gallon. Email. Cereal. Feel. Bulb. Build. Belt. Deal. Let's pause for a second to catch our breath. Are you ready for a challenge? Now you'll have to guess which L sound to pronounce. 
the regular or the dark one. Don't worry though, if you only pronounce the regular l sound, it's not a mistake. Let's do it. Place. Leaf. Look. Lady. Black. Old. Wall. Police. Flat. Golf. Golden. Else. Small. Tall. Roll. Model. Class. Hall. Crawl. Wolf. You're done. Congratulations. We hope that this all made you more confident in your ul sound. By the way, did you know that the ul consonant slightly affects the pronunciation of the preceding vowel sounds? Yes, you heard that right. Compare. Set. Sale. Bet. Bail. Vowel sounds that occur before the ul are pronounced slightly further back and higher in your mouth. So if you have a good ear, you may hear the difference. Live and learn, right? Click like if you like this video. Share this video with your friends, pets, and relatives. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned on our Sounds American channel.